ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் வி லுக் இன் டு டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் லைக் ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் டேர்ம் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் அண்ட் செல்ஃப் டேர்ம் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் ஒன்லி டூ டாபிக்ஸ் வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் லெட்ஸ் லுக் இன் டு ஃபிக்ஸ் டேர்ம் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சி வாட் இஸ் ஃபிக்ஸ் டேர்ம் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் சி இட்ஸ் அன் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் கான்ட்ராக்ட் இன் விச் அன் எம்ப்ளாயர் ஹையர்ஸ் அண்ட் எம்ப்ளாய் ஃபார் லிமிடெட் பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் where such when a such contract expires when the completion of particular project like we have seen this in the recent times like an employee getting um getting into a company with a specific for a specific period of time only for a particular project or something like that out of which they are not able to uh continue they are not allowed to continue they we have seen that in many past like in fixed term employment it's not like contract workers but uh, it's still something like contract workers like we can consider that uh, so in this so what are the benefits of that entitlements see under the fixed term employment workers will be entitled to benefits available to even the permanent uh, workers so you have to note that when if it is such as a contract workers they may not be able to get the benefits which are available to permanent work, workers but here as fixed term employment is seen they can get the entitlements as such the permanent work, workers next one is they can be possibly assured of greater sense of ability from the principal employer see when something problems happen contract workers cannot raise question but fixed term employment workers they can question them and their employers are accountable for their questions the industry should profit if this category of work was yes because it offers them much needed flexibility like for example one set of people one set of category might needed be for one project if it is suppose if he or she is appointed on the basis of contract or fixed term employment after the project is uh, is done they may not need the required services and may terminate him i mean and after the contract ends he may he or she may not continue but if he has been recruited as a permanent employee even though the services are not required but they must still keep him and keep him and keep him or and paying paying their salary that is something industries the, uh, the profit will increase for the industries next is poor working conditions how be in a key of this key cause of dissatisfaction in industrial sector some among the contract labor we have to know that in the contract workers the satisfaction uh, of the uh, workers has been very low because of the poor working conditions but fixed term employment since they get the equal entitlements they are also entitled to get the good working conditions so again they are questionable to their employer if the proper working conditions are not provided next one is uh, helpful in carrying out particular like those infrastructure are also in common other sectors too like uh, it is particularly seen in infrastructure like a person is particularly contacted in infrastructure like building a constructing a building constructing a road uh, when when the when the construction of that building is done their contract ends so that is something we have to know which is very much beneficial for the industries too Now what are the impacts so there has been a increase decrease in the transition rate from fte to permanent employee employment see what happens is after the contract ends the employee is eventually terminated or has not been able to continue as a permanent employee even employee because of which that employee who has been working for a long time uh, comes into the phase of unemployment next one is the majority of fte that is full uh, fixed term employment hiring is like a low wage workers who fall into the lowest income wage uh, that's how industries hire people like low wage workers whereas the medium and high level workers have been put into the full time workers see it reduces the job security but also raises the wage volatility because there is a huge difference of income between higher level workers and the low income workers but still they have job those are the impacts of the fixed term employment now coming on to the next now let's look into self employment she is a person who earns his own income by taking contracts with the business rather working for a uh, particular employee 
now let us look into the significance of self employment advantage of small business the small scale business have several advantages like it can be easily started require small amount of capital investment uh, like uh, is good uh, it can be um, like avoid environmental pollution and help in development of uh, mm, like it can avoid the development of slums because of uh, putting force on way workers to uh, work in low income like it, it does not need to exploit the workers and they have their own advantages now next is in self employment there is no limit of earnings as in the case of wage employment like he the self employer like that one person who owns a business is his own boss like he takes his own talent for his own benefit uh, but still uh, um and at the same time he even bears his own loss if he gets if he, if he gets into loss developing the spirit of entrepreneurship see taking risks because of because of trying new products new methods of produce production and marketing uh, there are there is a risk actually but when a person a self employed person starts innovative becoming innovative and taking steps to expand his business he becomes an entrepreneur so that is something a launching pad for entrepreneurship next one is promotion of individualized service like like individualized service in the sense like we can keep like tailoring mechanic work repair work dispensing of medicines like these are helping in the uh, better consumer satisfaction they can be easily started and run by an in, run by the individuals if they have proper talent for that next one is scope for creativity see self employment always has developed the scope for creativity and skills in art and crafts like which can even lead to the preservation of cultural heritage of india like handicrafts handloom products these are all something which we can see next one is the reducing the problem of unemployment like self employment provides opportunities of gainful occupation to those who otherwise might remain unemployed like because he works on his own and gets his own money works for his own money it reduces the unemployment ratio even to unemployment rate eventually which is benefit beneficial for the society but still what are the issues low job creation like just 4 percentage of india self employed people actually recruit people from outside like when i own a business and i am able to do it by myself why should i recruit other people from outside so that's something low job creation next one is low earnings see according to the plfs data Uh, it has been only around 10000 per month the average monthly income for self employed people has been 10000 per month which is very less compared to average monthly income for regular worker next one is gender pay gap see on average male workers make almost three times as much as female in the group of self employed people next one is nsso report see the, there is a hoping 63 million unregistered enterprises in india 96 percentage of which are operated by individuals who which where most of these businesses do not pay their gst as their annual sales are less than 20 lakhs when these million enterprises grow and start paying gst taxes to the government it's a huge huge benefit for the society as such because e government can put in large welfare schemes for the development of country people and which will eventually push more people out of poverty and it will eventually help more people to develop uh, sorry it will help the country to grow faster okay these issues are that so what we can do what are we for quality education the level of education must actually match the demands of market at that time or match the demands of the industry at that time see we all know that like particularly in the engineering sector engineering course uh, the college where be bachelor's in engineering like we re- we read books we read things about 
very um, things about which we have uh, it's something we read about outdated technology always particularly in the current scenario we read about outdated technology like uh, it will be like why am i studying this now when new technologies are coming into place like that's something quality of education must be met next one is liberalization neutralization impact like anti dumping duties and countervailing duties taxes should be put on products which affect the regional industrial sectors next is skill development like using government schemes like pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana like skill india india has to improve the skills of its young people to meet the needs of the modern manufacturing industry so when these things are done eventually people will start having more skills uh, which will eventually push for more uh, growth in em- employment so yes guys that's it for today's lecture so we have one more part of this lecture coming next so hope you guys understood to comment your doubts and watch the video watch the video and comment your doubts if you have any guys we'll continue this unit in the next lecture thank you